Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. This time we are going to start the Old Watcher. Um, we need to travel to Kaid Nua. I think that's how you say it. Um, to get there, if you have not already been, first go to the Black Meadow, and then the Eastern section. And there you go. Keep crossing the bridge so you can see this NPC just humming. Just off the side of the path into Kai Noah stands an imposing figure, a tall, thick set, a Mao, O Mao, however you say it, clad in one armor and peering up to the outer wall. The keep in his hand is a small piece of charcoal, and it works favorously at, at taking notes upon a small scrap of paper. More than once has he reached up to a reached up to prevent his colorful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upwards. Uh, we'll do this one. The man looks up at you, blinking in surprise. His face splits into a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. It is. Well, not the wall itself, perhaps. The construction is very traditional. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks. Just there. Workers and masons, I expect carving a little immortality for themselves. It's a fine keep, Cad Noir. Two centuries to its name, and abandoned for nearly as long. Uh, just for the record, um, whoever casted this uh, voiceover actor for this NPC did a very good job, because his portrait just sounds like it would be exactly how he talks. But the truly interesting part is in there. I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meowald. But it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. <clears throat> Why haven't you gone inside? Well, it's just that there are a great many dangerous creatures between the keep I and the keep and I. I did make an attempt of course, and I was chased away by dark spirits. What do you want with Mayor Wald? Knowledge. <laughs> or, to be less clever about it, a certain text. I've come in search of a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of Rawatai, but we possess only a small fragment of it. A year I've journeyed in search of the rest, and I found evidence suggesting that the original lies here beneath the keep. I want to ask Mayor Wald if he knows of it. And you, my friends, what? why are you here? I'm going to choose the honest reason. A watcher? You've spoken with spirits? There are many questions I would ask if I could do the same. Well, perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all the manner of beasts. I have never seen the like. I do not want to risk it alone, but you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we could both ask other our questions to Marowald. Let's go meet Excellent. him. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Oh, this teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adi. And in Exomital, they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. I say believe, but I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I paid them little mind. Humorless swords and long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. I'm going to choose a clever one or a few assassins between friends. <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? Alright, so we got a Chanter. Yes. If you have not played Chanter at this point, um, Chanters are hey. kind of like bards. We're going to go up here, but I'll explain what Chanters do along the way. They're kind of like bards, hey. and they're very, very good bards. Um, 
while in combat, they automatically start chanting. Um, if you're within their earshot, well, hey. you know, it's just their range. Following your lead. See, this is their, this is his chanting. If you start doing it, it only works during combat, but it's it's automatically selected. And he'll, it's similar to the wizard and the priest Hi. with their spells. You go over the uh, spell book level and list of spells. Following your lead will appear, but his are chance. And the only way to reach these is you have to reach the third level, uh, well, whatever the requirement is. In this case, uh, these are three uh, phrase chanted. Um, this is the edit chance. So the first chant is going to give us plus 10 fortitude, plus 10 will for 6.8 seconds. Second one is plus 1.2 move speed, plus 10 reflex. And the last one is affects enemies, frighten them. So you can you can do this however you want. Uh, I'll this is how I'll do it. Um, actually, I'm not really going to use that. Mainly because the fortitude and will is more beneficial. Honestly, I'm not even going to use that. I'm going to use the fortitude and will uh, just for my saving throws. And they don't necessarily call it saving throws in this game, they call it verses. Anyways, you start chanting, you build hey. your chants up, and you'll be able to cast your spell. Following your lead. Uh, they have some handy spells, of course. or songs, or whatever. Wait, I missed that. Okay. And, well, there's nothing down here. There's nothing. I'll go ahead and go on the key. At this point in the game, uh, these enemies are not going to be very difficult. But do not underestimate them. Actually, it's really good that we got a bard in, in our party now because when enemies have to walk to you, he's, see, he's singing now, and we get this little bonus. Oh, crap. Now, where were we? Okay. show you something. He wears... He's got a gun. No, not him. Yeah. He's got a gun. Very big gun. It's pretty nice, too. Does a lot of damage. You're not getting through me. There's not a lot of areas that you can go into the, the courtyard. But I'll show you just for your own curiosity what's around here. Sorry, Toe. He only loses a little bit of help. I've got plenty of camping supplies. Hey. You can go in here. There's nothing in here for right now. But I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Nothing. Some good art though. I mean, good level design. Yeah, 
seeing nothing. Uh, don't worry about him yet. He's not too bad. If you get some primal fire for him. From them. Very nice. Talk to him now if you want. Primal fire. This bright little flame leaps and sparks with magical energy. There is a map marker right here. You can't do this. Shakes his head, spinning words at you. This what? is our village, our home. The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. <coughs> have mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us. <coughs> He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that but all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on thickens thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Hey. We'll be finding out a little bit more about that later on. Clearly of a deer and make. They like their archways. Uh, immediately coming in here, pick up Whispers of Yenwood. And it's a one-handed sword that does... It has five, accuracy, five additional accuracy against spirits and 25% damage against spirits, but it's minus four will. It's still pretty good. Effectively against the flames. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put this on my tank because it does a little bit more damage. It doesn't have as better accuracy, but this is current accuracy. My true accuracy against spirits is gonna be more like 39. Plus 25% damage. Hey. Um, we'll come up here. This is another small area that nothing really up here All except right, for uh, a few spirits actually but seeing how you go into new areas you still get experience for learning it for checking it out I mean alright I'm going to take out that thing Then. 
And that's all this up here. go upstairs and we'll return to the middle the upstairs doesn't lead to anywhere either but you do get experience for coming here This little statue that talks. Um, st statue is a spirit that built the place, and she'll tell you. As you come to the end of the great hall, you perceive an inviting, war inviting warmth, radiation from radiating from the great grand throne, wrought out of marble. Its masterful artistry, out of place amidst the castle, more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved into the throne's backing watching over the room with hollow eyes. As you approach, you feel a warmth fluctuate as though steering. A voice rings out from the carving, pre-meeting pre pre the fortress through stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. Well, I'm not going to choose these because you're a watcher you, sh or you speak to spirits it's no surprise so as am I if you should happen to find him I would be glad to know of it each day his absence brings new dust to my halls new cracks to my stones it's it's shameful is what it is the Earl would never have let it come to this you are free to search for him here I will unbar the way this door here is gonna open you said these were your halls not Last as a land, land is its oh, okay, lord's, more as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it, to go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted. And he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain. And so he did. Tell me more about Marywald. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place the way it had been. So he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we've made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me. And my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins, one of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. <clears throat> oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. The Earl of Yenwood, the original in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. 
He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfoth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. <clears throat> they had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them, the earth. She talks a lot. Give her a break. She's a freaking throne that doesn't get to do anything. And his son's sons. Let her talk. <laughs> One day, that young Earl broke through. An endless maze. Incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused. Wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. How I'd longed to see it as it was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. She was supposed to leave after building the keep, but she wanted to stay behind because she admired it so much. So she feels that she's guilty. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Alright, so that path opens up. We're going to take a quick step over here and pick up absolutely nothing. Uh, she spoke about a maze, an endless maze. Uh, there's no doubt we will encounter this maze later. There's my little soldier. Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. She turns from you long enough to produce a basket that, like her, is shimmering and semi-transparent. And, no, and no complaints, you've got to eat your vegetables if you want to grow up strong and become, and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? Soldiers are important Soldiers people. are important okay. people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. Wish I could people like in. the man who murdered your father. Before you were born, the Glanfathans attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect, and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? This place is, has lots of spirits that still remain. Uh, we're going to do this quick little level and we're going to conclude the video. We don't want to overextend by too much. Uh, with Since we have a bar, well, a, a chanter with us. Oh, there's no telling how many times I'm going to say. Thanks a lot. Thank, thanks, thanks for freaking nothing. Hey. All right. It, it didn't do that last time. I, I killed these, and then I was able to reset combat come up there. But, so just be careful. There's not, there's really not nothing to this level. Getting through me. And that's it. That's all this level. New orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. Except for this. A spectral man array in armor and the officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it into his ducal and Adiris extended on his breastplate. 
He seems to read over the pages several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. <clears throat> Take your squad and march south, all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. The instructions come from Ahmet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war. Not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Okay, the plot thickens. What's well, we're gonna end it right here. Uh continuing okay. on with the old